Dan scares the fuck out of people. When when you're fighting Dan, you realize that at any moment you zig when you should have zagged, you make a left when you should have make a right, and he's going to knock you dead. And the kind of power that he possesses, you, you see it like really quickly when guys fight him. They get hit a couple of times and they just go, oh, fuck. You will retire, or can you give us a guarantee that we will see you fighting once again in the UFC? In post fight. This could be the last time we see you. In mixed martial arts. You've always kind of brushed off the retirement question. This is the first time you've really admitted, hey, maybe this is it. Can Win, lose, or draw. You said this is it. You're going to hang up the gloves. Now, obviously, with a huge win like that, a lot of people were saying that it would be the perfect cap off to your career. But now, here we are, and all of a sudden, Michael Bisping comes into the conversation. Is that fight happening? You couldn't have scripted this any better. Last fight fighting for a UFC title against Michael Bisping. UFC 204 Saturday, October 8th, for the Manchester Arena in Manchester, England. As Britain's very first UFC champion, Michael the Count Bisping, defends against American combat sports icon Dan Henderson. Would you have been content going out like that? Would that have been good enough for you? To have an opportunity to actually go out on top would be much more uh, desirable. And when you say on top, you mean as champion, right? Yeah, absolutely.